Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about my capsule wardrobe for the winter. If you are new to my channel, hi, hello, my name is Chelsea. I do beauty, baby, lifestyle, tons of different things on this channel. Recently I started a capsule wardrobe and it was for the winter. I did January, February, and March and then I just got back from my wedding and like honeymoon, family moon in Mexico. So I am getting ready to start a spring capsule wardrobe. I've done a few other videos on my capsule wardrobe so I will have them linked below or like here and here, 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 somewhere. But I will have them linked below and you can check those out if you're curious to what a capsule wardrobe is or if you want to see the items that are in my capsule wardrobe here. So today I wanted to go over some of my clothing choices that worked for me, that didn't work for me, maybe some things I will do differently. So let's start off with items that I just didn't really wear that much. And let's start off with the bottoms and two things right off the bat. The skirt. I think I had really good intentions of wearing um, the dress I picked and the skirt. I just didn't wear it. I thought I'd wear these with tights and some boots, but I just didn't. So I think I'm going to try and incorporate this into my spring wardrobe, but again, that will be a whole nother video and you can see that then. But this I did not wear, not even once. <laughs> Another bottom that I didn't really wear very much were my burgundy uh, jeggings. They're coming up really bright on camera, but they're not red, they're burgundy, but I just didn't wear them very much, maybe once or twice. Um, I love the color. I guess I just wasn't feeling like how they fit my body, so um, I won't be incorporating these into my spring wardrobe. I'll actually probably be giving these away. Maybe cutting to shorts. I don't know. We'll see. One other like bottom, I guess you would say, is the dress that I put in. Um, it's a more of a winter floral or a fall floral. I think this would work better in the fall than in the winter. Again, I had this idea that I would wear these with tights and combat boots and like a jacket and just really like play that vibe up, but I didn't at all, like zero times. So this will be going, probably saving into the fall. If I don't put it in my wardrobe this fall, I'm just going to get rid of it. So for tops, um, some items that I didn't really wear was this top. I wore it recently once the other day because it was like I was packing for Mexico and I just was packing some of this stuff and I just, I haven't worn it. Um, I think Jared called me Where's Waldo, but I don't care. The cut is super flattering. I just didn't really wear it. I am totally going to be wearing this with some cut off shorts in the springtime and summer. So this will definitely be staying in my closet. It just wasn't fitting my winter wardrobe. Two other tops that I didn't really wear very much. Again, probably a handful of times. I call them like my nice shirts. They're that silky, sheer material. They're both from Forever 21, right? Yeah, they're both from Forever 21. This one is just a nude color, and this one's an olive green. This is one of my favorite colors. I just, I don't know. The, the handles, the handles, <laughs> the sleeves on this, it just didn't fit me very well. Like, it just, I don't know. I didn't wear it very much. I will be holding on to this because I just love this shirt. I think it would be really cute in the springtime with some cut-off shorts again. I love long sleeves with cut-off denim. It's one of my favorite things. This one, I know why I didn't wear. I was just too pale. Like, it did not flatter me in any possible way. I also think that with my light hair, it just, I don't think that really worked as well. Can you hear my dog? He's barking at who knows what. Anyways, um, I'm going to hold on to this and see if I wear it in the springtime, maybe to work. I don't know, I think maybe this might be better for olive skin tones or maybe if I had like dark hair. Moving on to items that did work for me and that I wore a ton, a ton of times. These two cardigans were like my go-to things. I would basically throw on one of these like t-shirts and I would put on either this gray one that's like my bat wing, you know, like that or this um, more fitted like black chunky cardigan. This is from Target and this is from Marshalls. So these two were like huge staple pieces. And I probably will be bringing I think the gray one into my spring wardrobe. Um, we'll see. Another shirt that I wore a ton was this really cute like chambry, chambry, whatever you call it, um, denim button up blouse. It's super soft. 
I believe it's from Marshalls. Um, I wore this like open, I wore it closed. Elise and I at work pretty much wore the same outfit all the time. Whenever I had this on, she automatically had it on too. It was just very funny when I walked into work. We just like matched. Another shirt that I wore a ton was this uh, just really simple v-neck. This is burgundy as well. It's picking up really red on camera, but I wore this a ton, whether it was under this blazer, whether it was under a cardigan. I just, I, I wore this a ton. It's very comfortable and you can kind of dress it up with some jewelry. Very cute. And one of the other items that I wore all the time was this like really cute sweatshirt. It is from Forever 21. It's that olive green color. It has this really cool like texture to it so it's like ribbed going this way and I would wear it with um, like this white shirt and like a collar poking out of it or one of my gray long sleeve shirts with like the like gray at the bottom poking out I wore it with denim with black with leggings with um, even my uh, navy pants in here and it just was so cute anyways I wore this a ton a ton a ton again I'll probably wear this into spring as for shoes, there was one pair that I just didn't wear that a lot, and that was these tall brown boots. I don't know what it was. Maybe I was just really sick of this look, but I just did not wear these very much. I wore these flats. <gasps> I call them my knockoff Tory Burch flats because they just have this like gold emblem here. They're by Bandolino. I don't know, but they have that like the flex right here. But from day one, they've been the most comfortable flat ever. I wore them all throughout the airport. I wore them in Mexico. I wore, I just, I, they stink. I wear them a ton. Um, a few questions that I get is, you know, were you bored with your outfit choices? And to be honest, the first two months, no, I was not. I always felt like I had something to wear. I always felt like I looked put together. Um, there was times um, for a, sp a few different events that um, like our parent tatular, parent tatular, parent tatularette, so we had a joint bachelor bachelorette party and I just wore some jeans that I had in here and I actually went and got this cute little like flowy top from H&M but other than that I only had like one other time that I didn't wear anything from my closet so I did really really good. Um, I didn't get bored with my clothes until probably the, this past month. And I think it was because I was focusing so much of my like time and energy on planning the wedding that I just kind of like, I don't know, was like, I have nothing to wear. And I, I so wanted to go shopping. Also, because I was buying some clothes from Mexico, I was very like, ooh, well, I'm buying this from Mexico, like trying to rationalize with myself, like it was worth it. But um, I did purchase a handful of new things for Mexico, but I had them in mind like, this is going in your spring capsule wardrobe like you're not just buying it to wear on you know a week in mexico so i didn't really get sick of too many things in fact i wonder if people ever thought like does this girl have anything else to wear because i was constantly living in these i don't even know how many times i washed them jarek also would always make fun of me he'd be like you have no clothes in the wash and i really don't like on the weekends i am a big like gym clothes wear, I wear leggings and like hoodies and like workout gear, or I would wear basically a tank top and one of these sweaters. I I just was really comfortable throughout the weekend, and um, I just didn't have a lot of clothes to wash, and it's so nice. Um, I think overall I would have done less shoes, changed out some of these tops, and been more realistic, and maybe some more like sweaters or like long sleeves. I'm so excited for my spring capsule wardrobe, so make sure you subscribe down below and um, stay tuned for that video. That video will be soon. I'm just gathering kind of like the last final touches for everything. Spring here is hard because you want to wear shorts or, you know, like uh, warmer clothing, but I'm still in an office and I can't really wear rompers to work. You know, as much as I want to incorporate that into my like spring and summer, you know, wardrobes, I have to kind of be really particular about what I choose. One thing that I thought was so awesome is that when I was getting stuff together for Mexico, like shorts and tank tops and all that, I went into our like master bedroom, which is all Jarek's closet, and then I have like a section. I really have like half the closet. But I went in there and I was going through things and I'm like, 
didn't miss you, didn't miss you, did oh, I kind of missed you, you know, like, I did not miss, like, majority of the clothes in there. So, I am going to be pulling everything back out. I'm going to be trying things on because I've lost some weight, I've gained some muscle, I've like lost inches, you know, like I'm working at my fitness so some of the things won't fit anymore and some of the things I just haven't missed and if it's for winter, like I have some winter clothes in there, I'm not waiting until next winter to see if I like them again. So I'm going to be getting rid of more stuff and I'm just so excited. It is working out very, very well. I highly suggest that if you are thinking about doing a capsule wardrobe, watch a couple of my videos below, go online, read some other bloggers or some YouTubers, kind of like see what, you know, their tips and tricks are and um, see if it, it's going to work for you. Don't forget if you guys like these capsule wardrobe videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and like this video. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you next time. Bye!